I am short. My name is Kirsten. I do writing and reading and things of that sort. And I decided, oh, there's this be beautiful visual art about me. And I thank Heather Boyd for inviting me here. Ooh, Heather! <laughs> Somehow all these three poems are about music. Sort of. And they go in chronological order backwards. <laughs> no symphony. I have no symphony. I don't feel very sorry. I have no symphony for you. <laughs> I have no harmony. Will I live in infamy if I have no symphony for you? <laughs> Music is holy. The vice is language. My tongue trips on sympathy. Proffers symphony. Orchestrated, orchestral, until you add the voices. Wow. Sinfonia, say, sinfonia. My sin, my soul, my symphony. Mm -hmm. A particular perversion leads me ineluctably to prefer them between 1800 and 1824. <laughs> the floor is yours, Ludwig van. But it isn't. No rollover, Beethoven. Only Beethoven rollover. Death takes breath and leaves notes. Decomposition's bad enough. Your name eaten by dogs. Don't hear the cliché of joy, 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 joy. <laughs> hear it in context if you can. From the starting fifths and fourths, like the orchestra's only tuning. Hear me in context. I was badly influenced, influenced by my child self, my historical context, including major scale imperialism. Kids still sing, joy to the world, the school burned down, and all the teachers are dead. <laughs> In other joys, I can't hear the ode to joy anymore without melding my youthful words. Come, let's sing a song of joy, the 9-11 symphony. I was 13. It was school. Was that on purpose? Quote, he did no harm to anyone. Beethoven just wrote music. And... It's a useful, emotional heightener, that's all I know, with so many arpeggios. I know I'm an unsymphonic narrator, ben no sympa, and no, if you be a nympho, I'll be a nympho. Just my 50 cents for romanticism, but oh, those cold fourths and fifths. <laughs> and um, the quotes were from the book A Clockwork Orange and the song Candy Shop by 50 Cents. <laughs> 50 Cents, not 50 Cents. <laughs> um, it's, 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 it's very fun. It has all these horrible metaphors for sex. They're quite ridiculous. Um, and my next one, um, it wasn't when I wrote it, but now it's dedicated to the late Pete Seeger. And it's called A Child's Garden of Verses Remix. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a poppy on Remembrance Day because of Wilfred Owen's famous poem, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? My class sings Sakura in assembly because a cherry blossom exploded, I think, in the War of the Roses. But Rosa Parks ended the war by singing, Daisy, Daisy, quite contrary, give me your answer, do. <laughs> and the last one is called Antarctica. Muppets with mittens sing an ode to their Antarctification, the cold their main concern. Separated by a TV screen, I sing along. Antarctica, Antarctica. The episode goes, Sesame Street rarely travels far from home where the air is sweet. On my way to kindergarten, I sing Antarctica on this crowded school bus. Two boys and one girl tell me to shut up. <laughs> At home, I pick out the song on a donated piano. I only remember the first four notes. In the school gymnasium, all grades crowded in, sitting on the floor, the vice principal puts on a nature movie because the principal is late for assembly. Surprised, I watch a crowd of penguins 
shuffle to their narrator's voice. A penguin father protects his egg by holding his feet over it. Between legs, sheltered from the cold by a flout of fur. Penguin babies, they show one gray, small, plain, protected. But then a stampede starts because of a predator, maybe a seal, and the gray baby gets knocked from under its father, kicked about, abandoned, rolling in the snow. The camera leaves it. What happened to the baby penguin? I ask my teacher. She doesn't know. I cry to her, please. She says, what penguin? The baby penguin, did it die? She says, what penguin? She says, I can't have you disrupting the class. Go to the principal's office. I ask the principal. He says, I'm sorry, I wasn't there. We can't really know these things. Back at home, I play Antarctica. The missing notes I make up. Uh -huh. <laughs>